Hello, students. Welcome to our English language lesson. I am Ifis Alaudin. Do you know what it means when someone says it's a bit chilly? If someone says it's baking today, do you know what they're talking about? In this lesson, you'll learn about weather, all the different kinds of weather, and words and phrases to talk about weather in English. I hope by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to learn words related to weather and seasons, match newspaper articles with headlines, identify gist and specific information from a weather report. Are you ready? Let's go! Vocabulary Review What's the weather like today? What do you see through the window? That's right, it's the sun. When we can see the sun, we say it's sunny. The sun is shining. It's bright. What do you see now? The rain. When there are clouds, droplets fall down. We say it's raining. It's raining hard. It's pouring down. And we say wet when it's after rain or it's raining lightly, for example, it's a little wet outside. Now, what do you see through the window? Trees are moving and the wind is blowing heavily. When you see things moving or flying on the street, that's because it's windy. It's windy. There's a strong wind. There's a gentle breeze. Thunder and lightning. There's a thunder song. There's a lot of lightning. Wow, it's thunder and lightning. When we see thunder and lightning coming out of the clouds, we say there's a storm. There's a thunderstorm. There's a lot of lightning. In a storm, you can hear thunder and see lightning. What do you see now? Ah, there are clouds. When we see many clouds in the sky, we say it's cloudy. There's a lot of cloud. It's a grey day. Damp means something is slightly wet. Foggy, it's a foggy day. There's some fog, but it's not too thick. The forest is misty in the morning. Fog and mist are similar, but not the same. Do you know the difference? Fog is basically cloud which is at ground level. Mist is caused by water droplets in the air. They're similar, but fog is generally thicker and lasts longer. Mist is thinner and normally disappears fast. Many places are misty in the morning, but the mist disappears as the sun comes up. What do you see now? Wow, there's snowfall! When it's cold and snowflakes fall from the sky, we say it's snowing. It's snowing lightly. It's snowing heavily. Icy. It's icy. Road conditions are icy this morning. The river has frozen over. If you live somewhere cold, Rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water might freeze over. Blizzard. 
there's a blizzard. You can hardly see 10 meters. A blizzard is a kind of storm. To count as a blizzard, you need heavy snow and strong winds at the same time. Heat wave is when it is hotter than usual for a long period of time. The temperature is 40 degrees. There's a heat wave. Hailstones, a small hard ball of ice that falls from the sky like rain. We usually say it's hailing. Now, let's listen and repeat the different kinds of weather. Sunny, rainy, wet, windy, thunder and lightning, stormy, cloudy, damp, foggy, snowy, icy, blizzard, heat wave, hailstones. Good job, everyone! When you use a noun to talk about the weather, use a or an or the. For instance, can you hear the wind? When you use an adjective to talk about the weather, you don't need a or an or the. For example, it's windy or it's wet. Quiz time! Now, it's time to test your vocabulary. I am going to show you five pictures. What are the most suitable words to describe these pictures? The first one... It's a... Day. Yes, the answer is foggy. Next, it was freezing cold last night and rained a lot. So now it's quite... What's the answer? Icy! What's the answer for the next picture? Don't forget your umbrella. It's just stopped raining, so it's still quite out there. Yes, it's wet. Next. Look, it's been... It would have been quite painful if we'd been out in it. Did you see the picture of hailstones? So the answer is hailing. And for the last one, I don't think that umbrella will be very useful in a... It's wind and snow all at once. When we have wind and snow at the same time, we called it blizzards. Did you get it all correct? Excellent! Hmm. Do you think it's going to be rainy tonight? I think it will, if there are thunder and lightning. What do you think? I think we should watch the world weather forecast. Good evening. Welcome to the world weather forecast. Let's take a look at the weather now. It is cold and snowy today in New York. People are staying in their homes for a long winter's day. While in Sydney, the weather is hot and sunny. Everybody is enjoying their summer holidays. In London, the temperature is so cold and foggy. It will be very windy. It's like autumn. By today in Asia, the weather is warm and cloudy. Everybody wants spring. 
And that's the world weather forecast for tonight. Brian Lee reporting. Did you realize that the reporter was talking about the seasons? Do you know what is season? It is one of the four parts a year is divided into spring, summer, autumn, or winter. Winter, the season when the weather is coldest. In this season, nights are longer and days are short. Spring, it's the time when the weather becomes warmer. Leaves and plants start to grow again and flowers appear. Summer, the season of the year between spring and autumn when the weather is warmest. And autumn, the season of the year when fruits and crops become ready to eat and are picked and leaves fall. All the leaves are changing color and the trees look so beautiful. I like sunny weather because I can go to the beach and sunbathe. I love having cold drinks on the beach. So, summer is the best season for me. What about you? What's your favorite weather? Now, you're going to read three short news articles. But before that, look at these three headlines. It is an important skill to recognize keywords, to use extra information such as headings or headlines in order to get the general idea of the context of a text and understand it. For the first headline, unlucky students spend night in classroom. Unlucky means unfortunate and spend night means to sleep for the night at a place. Second headline, local girls photo success. Local means a person who lives in the particular small area that you are talking about. And for the last one, schools close as blizzards continue. Blizzards, as we saw just now, a severe snowstorm with strong winds. Sometimes, blizzard conditions the main roads almost impossible to travel on. So, based on these three headlines, can you guess what kind of news report that you'll see after this? When you read the text, Keep the headlines in your mind because after that, you have to match the articles with the correct headlines. Let's read the first text together. Students and teachers at Grange Secondary School in the village of Hepworth near Dundee were unable to get home last night because heavy snow was blocking the roads. We had to sleep on the floor. It wasn't very comfortable, said 13-year-old Jamie Banks. But it wasn't all bad. The teachers let us play games on the school computers, Jamie added. From the text, we know that the students were stuck in school. They couldn't go home because of the heavy snow. Imagine you have to sleep in a school because of bad weather with all your friends and with no personal things that you can use. Well, it must be tough, but the students were kind of enjoyed it because they can still have fun playing games with their friends. Now, read the second text with me. A student from Mortimer School, Coventry, has come first in a national photography competition. 
14-year-old Lucy Preston used her mobile phone to take her winning photo of a frozen lake in winter. What is she going to do with her 500 pound prize? I'm going to use it to buy a camera, she laughed. This is a news report about a competition in photography, won by a school girl. What makes it an incredible story is because she only used her smartphone to take the picture. And for the last news report, Icy conditions were still causing problems all over the country today. However, in the north of England, some students were celebrating when their school was closed because of the bad weather. This is great! Now I can go and play snowballs with my friends, said Jessica Watson, a Year 8 student from Durham. Hmm, what does icy mean? Icy means covered in ice. Usually during winter, there'll be icy roads and icy pavements in certain areas where it's very, very cold. It could be very dangerous to walk or drive on the road. That's why the students are happy when their school is closed. Will you be happy if your school has to be closed because of bad weather? Now, look at the headlines again. You need to match the headings with the newspaper articles. One, two, three. When trying to match headings with paragraphs, look for words that have similar meaning. In article one, we can see the phrase had to sleep carries the same meaning with spend the night. While the phrase it wasn't very comfortable shows that the students feel unfortunate, unlucky with the incident. So, the headline for the first news article is Unlucky students spend night in classroom. While in Article 2, the phrase icy conditions refers to the blizzards. Also, the phrase their school was closed clearly shows that the most suitable headline for the news article is Schools close as blizzards continue. Therefore, for Article 3, we know that the headline is Local Girls Photo Success. The phrases come first and winning photo shows that the girl's photo was a success. Alright, now it's time to polish your skills in finding details and information from the text. Look at all these questions here. Look at the text one more time. Can you find names from the news articles? We have three names here. Jamie Banks, Lucy Preston, Jessica Watson. And they all talk about different things in the news articles. So the first question, who said he had fun in difficult situation? The key words here are fun and difficult. So who in the article said he's happy although the situation is unpleasant? Yes, it's Jamie Banks. It wasn't all bad. Next, who won something? Lucy Preston was the one who took the winning photo. 
Question three. Who felt happy when she heard some news? The person who is happy when the school closed is Jessica Watson. Moving on to the last question. Who plans to spend some money? Aha, uh -huh, yes, it's Lucy Preston. She's going to use the £500 prize money to buy a camera. Now, for the last reading task, read and listen to this weather report. Today, it is very cold in Scotland, the north and south of England, and in Wales. Snow is falling and there is deep snow lying in some parts of the country. It is more than one and a half meters deep in some places. There are blizzards in the south of England. The heavy snow has made conditions on the roads very dangerous and many trains are not running. Some roads are blocked by snow, while other roads are very icy. The police have asked people not to travel by car if their journey isn't important. 20 people spend the night in a local sports centre when blizzards on the M25 motorway close the road. The weather will get better tomorrow, but it will remain very cold until the weekend. Based on the weather report, you need to answer some questions. Are the following sentences true or false? Question 1. More than one and a half meters deep snow lying in certain areas of the country. Is this true? The answer is yes. Look at this sentence. Question 2. Roads are blocked by heavy snow so people can use train to travel. Can people travel by train during blizzards? Of course not. It's stated here many trains are not running. Next statement. Some roads are very icy and dangerous. Yes, during heavy snow and blizzards, it's dangerous to travel on the road. And for the last statement. The bad weather will remain until the weekend. Is it true? No! The article says the weather will improve, but it will remain very cold. Did you manage to find all the information from the text? Excellent! Let's read the text one more time. And tell us, what have the police asked people to do? Can you see where is the answer? Good job! The answer is not to travel by car if their journey isn't important. Well, how was the reading activity? I hope you had fun and managed to find all the correct answers from the text. Before we end this lesson, I am going to share with you some phrases for starting a conversation about weather. We use the question, what is like? To ask about whether something is good or bad in some way. For example, what's Thailand like? It's a very hot country. Take note that the word like in these questions is a preposition and has no connection with the verb like. Other phrases that you can use to start small talk conversations about the weather are 
such a beautiful day today, isn't it? The weather lately is rough. Are you a cold weather or a hot weather person? I love this sunny weather. How about you? What's the weather like where you're from? What kind of weather do you like best? How does it make you feel? Well, that's all for today. Have fun talking about the weather. Till next time, bye-bye!